in that we usually involve a number of different people um, along the journey of a patient with newly diagnosed cancer. And that might not only be doctors, but there's allied health people, our clinical nurse practitioners and specialists and care coordinators, allied health people, exercise physiologists, psychologists, etc. So there's all sorts of people that are involved in um, a patient's journey. And Importantly, AGITG clinical trials involve a collaboration of all of these specialties, the medical specialties including our surgeons, um, medical oncologists, radiation oncologists, gastroenterologists, um, plus all of the allied health um, team, palliative care physicians, everybody. Um, so it has to be um, uh, studies that are, I guess, meet the needs of all of these people involved in the care of patients with GI cancers. So an example of a multidisciplinary study, which is an AGITG study that has a very cool name, according to my 13-year-old son, uh, Top Gear, um, is actually a study that is um, looking at patients who have early stage gastric cancer or cancer of the junction between the stomach and the esophagus. Now, in these patients, um, they have seen a surgeon and the surgeon feels that they, he would be able, or he or she, it shouldn't be sexist here, um, could take that tumour out. However, in this case, we know from previous studies that um, giving some treatment prior to that operation can improve outcomes. However, there are two different treatments, well, possibly more than two, but two main types of treatments which have been shown in clinical trials that may be of benefit either chemotherapy before the surgery or a combination of chemo and radiotherapy. We don't know which of those two options is the best and various parts of the world do it slightly differently depending on you know, what their preference is. So this study was actually designed to try and answer that question. So we will be able to have hopefully at the end of this discussions with our patients to say well we from this clinical trial we now know that this is the best option for you um, if you're looking to have an operation to remove a stomach or gastroesophageal junction uh, tumour. So the total number of patients that we will require, hopefully, to answer that question is, a, is about um, 750 patients over a five-year period, and we'll then require a follow-up period after that to record the outcomes um, of our patients, so about three years of follow-up. Um, and we're re actively recruiting. We've had a number of patients who have already had treatment on this clinical trial. So once again, a very important clinical trial that's bringing together a lot of disciplines, so radiation <coughs> oncologists, medical oncologists, uh, surgeons, um, and all of the allied health people that are associated with the care of these patients.